Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, as far as my opinion on Justice Kennedy's retirement, I somewhat agree with Stikes, Hex, and Hammers on his opinion on that. The only thing I um, disagree with him on that is I kind of think that the Democrats are going to win this year, but not by a lot, as they would like to make people believe, as far as that goes. Because traditionally, it's the party of opposition that usually wins in the midterm elections, as far as that goes. The only time that, that didn't happen was back in '02 with uh, President Bush, but... The huge reason there was 9-11. And this is where all those, like, conspiracy theorists um, tend to think about that sort of thing there, you know. So, anyways. Um, as far as, like, what he he said, um, Stacks, Hex, and Hammers, he had said that as, as far as that goes that that Justice Gorsuch was the the red meat for the social conservatives and that in a way he has to uh, nominate someone that's a little bit more moderate because he has to work within the Republican establishment and that the Republican establishment in is not on board with Trump entirely. So, that's just one of the things. And considering, as far as that goes, some people will not vote for the president's party if the president's party and the rest of the congressional representation are at odds with each other. You know? That sort of thing. So, anyways, I wasn't really that disappointed, you know, as far as deep down that Trump had won. I was really disappointed in the fact that, that, um, that the Democrats had cheated Bernie of a nomination there. But what else can you do as far as that goes? Because considering that the Republicans were more obligated to win in 2016 anyways, and simply because of the fact that we had eight years of a Democrat, and so it's only natural that we have uh, at least four years of a Republican, you know, and it's just nothing new, you know, and it's funny how these ideologues on both sides of the matter are just, uh, it's ridiculous, you know, because considering any of these right-wing ideologues like, uh, Ben Shapiro or... Stephen Crowder, or, and all that, they're just simply acting all hubris there, and that's just, leads to their downfall at that point, I mean, hubris leads to their downfall at that point, so, and then we have all these other people on the left that are just raging and getting their panties in a bunch, you know, and that's also caused them to to fall apart as well. So, in a way, I think there's plenty of people like me who are center left or center right who are sick and tired of these type of people on on both sides of the aisle and just want nothing to do with that. You yeah. know. So, anyways, I guess that's basically it, you know, because I've been trying to get my thoughts out for quite a while and 
and then I was having a couple of like brain farts and interruptions and stuff like that. So, anyways, guess that's it.